this is Flurry Moon. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a villager hunt and we're also doing Reddit stories. They're Animal Crossing themed and they're just as crazy as the last ones, if not crazier. Once again, Louis never heard these stories before, so he's hearing it for the first time, just like you guys. We are on my new island, Maryland, today. So if you're confused as to why I look like this, if I have orange hair, we're on total drama. If I have pink hair, we're on Maryland because this island theme is going to be like Sanrio slash fairy core slash just like everything pink if you couldn't already tell. We need to find a really cute villager. My ultimate dreamy is Silvana, although I feel like she doesn't really match this theme. We're always looking for her. So we're gonna go. Oh, what happened? Oh my God. Louis cut his mouth on a ring pop and hasn't stopped talking about it. It was the second time we learned one. Right now, our villagers are <laughs> this group. Um, Hazel's actually leaving tomorrow, but we do have an open plot today. So I have 15 tickets. That's not a whole lot, but we're gonna make the most of it. Yeah, so I guess we'll see. I really like Chevra. I like her a lot. There's an elephant who I really like. She's like brown and pink. I really like her. Basically, if you're not familiar with Am I the Asshole stories, r slash Am I the Asshole is a subreddit where people tell their real life stories of situations that they're not so sure if they were in the wrong or maybe the other person was in the wrong or maybe nobody's doing anything wrong <laughs> or maybe everyone is. So it's a hot mess. I love it. Louis never heard these stories before and... We're just gonna get right into it. Am I the asshole for getting my girlfriend's friend a Nintendo Switch for her birthday? My girlfriend of 11 months has been talking about Animal Crossing, the new one released, and it was her favorite game growing up. She thinks the game is super cute. However, whenever we watch an Animal Crossing video of the new one, she always mentions how she wants to play but could never buy a Switch because she wants to focus hard on school. She stated many times per video that if she ever gets Animal Crossing that quote, it is over for my GPA. Note, she is in her third year for undergrad and plans on going to grad school. Enter her best friend. Let's call her Janet. She also likes Animal Crossing, although probably not as much as my girlfriend. We have gone for pizza runs, always with my girlfriend there. And she seems super nice, always purely platonic, and nothing awkward between us ever. I know Janet's birthday is coming up because she mentioned it, and this is where I fuck up. We all, my girlfriend, Janet, and I, here, Janet's complaints about her long-distance boyfriend, who is not her favorite. I feel bad because I already know that her semi-flaky boyfriend never gets her presents because he doesn't believe in giving presents. Note, all y'all dudes out there at least get something for her, your girl's birthday. However, he is more than willing to receive presents from her for his birthday. Here's where I come up with the good idea that makes my girlfriend very angry. I know my girlfriend would like to play the new Animal Crossing, but not own it because she really wants to focus on her grades. I know that Janet would love any present for her birthday, so why not give her something she would use and enjoy? And I also know that my girlfriend and Janet are good enough friends that they would share and my girlfriend would play too, just not too frequently so that she can still focus on her studies. So Janet's birthday comes around and I get her the Switch. She's really happy, probably because she didn't expect presents on her birthday, but my girlfriend is furious. She storms out of the room crying that I would give Janet such an expensive gift, but not her. I explained to her that it was really for the both of you as she would play it too, but she's not having it. I write this at 3 a.m. on the couch in the living room. Am I the asshole? It's weird because I, I, personally, I guess I can kind of see like both sides of the story, like for as to why there's a conflict. Yeah, this is a tricky one because there's a lot of moving Not parts. for me. <laughs> you are the asshole, bitch. What the fuck? We're going to disagree on this one. Uh, You're getting your girlfriend's friend a Nintendo Switch. First of all, how the fuck? Like 300 something dollars? Yeah. For your weird. girlfriend's yeah. friend who you're not even close with? Also, your girlfriend saying many times how fucking bad she wants to play Animal Crossing. Oh, that too, yeah. That is fucked up. Yeah, actually, he kind of is, isn't I it? would be livid. <laughs> I would be livid if my boyfriend got my best friend a Nintendo Switch. I mean, I can see if, you know... Maybe you guys were friends before you met your girlfriend and you guys have been friends for years and your girlfriend, you and your girlfriend come up with an idea to, first of all, 
That's another thing. Why didn't he include his girlfriend on this gift? It's almost like he wanted it to be from him. Like, oh, he could have yeah. easily said, like, hey, what if we got Janet a switch? Like, mm. her boyfriend kind of mm. sucks. Like, yeah, what if we no, both I mean. pitch in? You completely blindsided your girlfriend. I'd be embarrassed as fuck because I'd be like, oh, my God, he didn't even tell me. The overall vote here was asshole. The top comment, you're the asshole. In another comment, you said you haven't gotten your girlfriend an expensive gift, but you go and buy her friend a damn switch. This clearly feels romantic. It might not be on your end, but dude, you don't buy your girlfriend's friend a more expensive gift than you've bought your girlfriend. I don't know. It's just really fucking weird. And I feel like the intentions behind it might not be as pure as even he thinks. That's it on that one. Let's move on, please. <laughs> so the next story, am I the asshole for being upset that my boyfriend was lying about his turnip prices on Animal Crossing? My boyfriend, 20 male, and I, 20 female, have been together for two years. We do not live together yet. For background, my boyfriend is into video games. He isn't a full, quote, gamer, but he does enjoy playing a few different games and will play them for a few hours every day. We both recently got Animal Crossing. We don't visit each other's islands too often, as we both just enjoy developing and working on our own. However, we do text each other our island's turnip prices every morning and visit to sell turnips if prices are good. I found out yesterday that he's been lying about his turnip prices, telling me they were lower than they actually are so I wouldn't be able to make as much of a profit. I asked him why he'd lie about something so silly, and he admitted it was because he wanted to get further into the game than me, and wanted his island to be better than mine. I got really upset, not only because he was lying, but because he does this a lot. Whenever we play video games together, I end up winning most of the time. I don't make a big deal out of it, because I think most of it is just pure luck, but he gets upset that I'm better at video games than he is, even though he's the, quote, gamer. I told him often that there are plenty of things he's better at than I am, like cooking or playing the guitar. He said I shouldn't be upset about it, and I should just let him have this one thing to be better at. I understand why he might be frustrated about this, but I'm a little hurt that he would go so far as to lie about trivial things to set me back. Am I the asshole for being upset over this? Oh, I love B. She's like brown. Oh, she wouldn't match the theme of this island, but Cookie would. B and Cookie, they're both dogs, but Cookie's pink, and I'd love to have her. She would absolutely match this theme. <gasps> Wait, is this the elephant I was just talking about? <gasps> this is her. Get. Ellie. Oh my god, already? She's so cute. She's so cute. Okay, so that was really quick, um, but I can't pass her up. So I think what we're going to do, I have Hazel in boxes right now. So she'll be moved out tomorrow. So we're going to time travel to tomorrow and we're going to keep this thing going. I have 10 more tickets. I want this video to be longer. <laughs> so let's go. Okay, so we're at the next day and we're just going to go make sure that Hazel's plot is there. Oh wait, she doesn't look there. So this is our plot. We have 10 tickets. I know it's not a lot, but but yeah, I'm so happy we found Ellie. Like I was talking about her. I did forget her name, but I was talking about her when I was talking about the elephant that I wanted. I'm really excited. Let's keep this good luck going. No, he's the asshole. Yeah, <laughs> I think this is definitely one of those things where it's like a bigger problem than a video game. I think his problem is that I think his ego is a little bit hurt that you're better than him at a lot of things, including video games, which is like typically a quote guy thing. And I think he's kind of, I think he's embarrassed. I think he's like threatened a little bit. Um, yeah. But the thing is, <laughs> Animal Crossing isn't really a competitive game. <laughs> yeah. That's the funniest thing ever. Like, <laughs> the fact he's trying to be in part of the like the esports community. It's like the whole point of this game is to be like chill and nice and not competitive. You yeah, know? and it's like, it's the most like do it at your own pace game you'll ever encounter in your life. It's very ironic that it's like he chooses <laughs> this game to get butt hurt over. <laughs> yeah, like getting your ego hurt by something like that because you know what? Even though. You know, in society, you know, it's been conditioned into all of us that, oh, video games, it's mostly a guy thing, you know, but it's really, in, in reality, there's plenty of women that are better at 
like tons of men at certain games. The overall vote is not the asshole for OP saying, am I the asshole for being upset about him lying about the prices? Um, top comment says, not the asshole. What a weird thing to try to lie about on his part. Animal Crossing is famously not a game to quote win anyway, but also part of visiting each other's island is sharing each other's perks, fruit, turnip prices, etc. If he doesn't want you to do well and is therefore not telling you the right prices, why is he even bothering to play with you anyway? She even said like, you're better at shit than I am. You're better at cooking and guitar and shit like that. Like, but I think the problem is he doesn't want to even let her have that. Like, you know what I mean? Anyway, next story. So this one's a little bit different. It is still Animal Crossing themed, but it's less about partner dynamics and more about parental dynamics and friendship dynamics. So this one's pretty interesting. Am I the asshole for threatening my daughter with no more Animal Crossing if she continued to contact her friend from the Middle East? Over the course of this year, my 46 male daughter, 14 female, has an online friend, 14 female, she met from the Middle East, Lebanon, on YouTube, where they connected via YouTube comments for an Animal Crossing video. For the sake of the writing, I'm going to be calling the girl Zaria and my daughter Opal. Since then, they have been close friends, playing together almost daily. Since then, there has been a lot of drama that's went down. For one, Zaria is too possessive for my liking. They shared Instagram with each other, so I know that Zaria is not a predator, just a girl that's desperate for attention. Zarya is constantly blowing up Opal's phone during school hours, demanding that Opal gets on Animal Crossing during school hours. When Opal tells her that she can't get on during school hours, Zarya throws a hissy fit and says she will unfriend Opal. Opal starts crying and the cycle has repeated multiple times in the past months. Zarya also gets help with her English from Opal, which has put a lot of pressure on Opal to rush through her schoolwork to help Zarya. The latest drama was over one of the items in the game. Opal had an item that Zarya liked and wanted for her island, but Opal refused to give it to her. Zarya had a meltdown and told her she was the worst friend ever. I told Opal that if she didn't stop contacting Zarya, that we would be canceling her subscription and no longer allowing her to play the game. Opal says that Zarya is just a clueless kid who wants attention, but this is starting to affect her grades and mental health. She's constantly breaking down and her grades have started to get worse. Am I the asshole for telling Opal that she needed to stop contacting this friend or we would cancel Animal Crossing? Yikes. Right? Um, this one's kind of a, like... So this is a parenting thing. Yes. So um, yeah. this is the father talking about his daughter. Well, if it's affecting her grades and it's um, taxing her mental health, I think that, you know, as sad as that is... Um, how old is the daughter? 14? 14. Okay. Yeah. Well, in this case... Personally, I think that it's good that the parents are at least paying attention Absolutely. to what's happening. Yeah. You know, obviously, if this daughter was older, I would kind of question the eligibility of these parents being yeah. able to say this. It's a tough age, but, 14. It's like too young, but too old. Like. Yeah, I think that it's, I don't know. I kind of think the parents it's are tough. right. It's, it's though, really tough. Because this friend's just straight up. Yeah, I I'm think... sorry, she's toxic. <laughs> I think we can all agree that... Uh, what's her name? Zaria. Zaria is toxic. And for whatever reason... So someone in the comments... Or I don't know if it was the comments or an edit on the post. But basically they explained that the reason why she might be texting during school hours is because Lebanon is like a few hours later. So okay. there's like a time difference. So there's that. But I think either way... She's very possessive, and I feel like we all, maybe not all of us, but I feel like a lot of people, especially girls, have had a friendship like this that is kind of almost a bit too possessive for your liking, you know? And it starts to become, like, I feel like I can't do anything because this person's going to be mad at me. If she didn't have Zarya acting like this, she'd have someone else acting like this, you know what I mean? I feel like it's... It's bound to happen at some point, and I think this is a good opportunity to work in some boundaries. I don't think you should start with being like, stop talking to Zarya or no more Animal Crossing. I feel like you should get there if it gets worse, but I think start with telling Opal, you need, this isn't good for you. You need to tell Zarya, like, hey, quit acting like this, quit, like 
making me feel bad for not giving you whatever you want. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then if Zarya doesn't respect those boundaries, which let's face it, she probably won't, then Opal will have to cut her off. And I think that's a good lesson to teach a kid is that yeah. you should be able to, you know, set boundaries and have enough respect for yourself that you cut off the people who don't care enough to care about those boundaries, if that makes any sense. Good on this dad for, you know, caring. Yeah, let's look at, so the overall vote is not the asshole, obviously. Um, the top comment is yes and no. I'm leaning toward not the asshole because I know you're trying to protect your daughter. I feel like this is a missed opportunity if you just cut off Zarya. This is a chance for your daughter to learn how to establish healthy boundaries. <gasps> Goldie! Uh, Move to my island! Oh, I forgot I have her on Total Drama as well. It's what, fine. It's fine. We had the greatest luck today. Like, I'm shook. I've never had Ellie before. So I have Goldie on Total Drama. I know it's a little redundant to have her also in this one, but sorry about it. Oh my god! Her house is so cute already. So that's about it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I had so much fun and we still have five tickets left. So we only used 10 villagers and we found Ellie and Goldie. I usually have the worst luck on villager hunts. So this is like unheard of for me, but I hope you guys enjoyed those stories as well. Let me know if you'd want to see it again and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.